day Fear the Walking Dead died. I remember this night. It was a dark, pretty dull night. I had dinner, and I was eagerly anticipating the next episode of Fear the Walking Dead. And that night, that Sunday night, Fear the Walking Dead Season 4 Episode 3 premiered and came on our television screens. It shocked all of us. Not just me, but mostly the entire community of Walking Dead fans. That night was the night that Nick died. And I feel like when Nick died, the show died too. I feel like after Nick died, everything fell apart. The writing, the story, the style, everything that made Fear the Walking Dead what it was, was ruined. I feel like Nick's departure was handled poorly. I feel like they really were not expecting him to leave at the last minute. I know he wanted to leave in season three, but I think he backed out on it and told them that he would be around for season four, but then when season four came, he wanted to leave. But the problem was the script was half written. Now, I could be wrong about this, but I don't know. You can tell that the quality drops significantly, significantly after Nick dies. The writing becomes more repetitive, more cartoonish, kind of like the, sis the sister show, The Walking Dead. The mature theme of Fear of the Walking Dead was lost after Nick died. And after episode three, I became less and less interested with Fear of the Walking Dead season four. I just feel like the show dragged on, new characters became annoying, and I just, I feel like the villains were a wasted potential, the storyline really never went anywhere, the vultures were a horrible idea, I feel like everything was completely ruined. The flashback scenes got on people's nerves because Nick was dead in the present scene but alive in the flashback scene, even my grandmother got mad at that. I feel like everything in episode 3 ruined the entire series. And after episode 3, the show died. Enos was killed in episode 3 by Nick. It would have been so much more interesting if Enos was a big villain until the mid-season finale. You can kind of tell that they switched these plans around at the last minute and killed Enos off because the story just doesn't seem clear. It feels like the villain group just does things that don't make sense. They're not scary. They're not intimidating. They're just being bumholes for no reason, for the sake of the writing. The writing feels choppy, sometimes forced, and annoying. I know a lot of people dislike season one and two of Fear the Walking Dead because of the characters, but it's a different kind of show compared to what we have now. This show has the characters talking more like aliens instead of real, developed, fleshed out human beings. Season one and two of Fear the Walking Dead had developed unique characters that we have never seen before in the Walking Dead universe. You have Travis, you have Madison, you have Chris, you have Nick, you have Alicia, you have Daniel, so on and so forth. So many unique, interesting characters in a splendid, broken up family dile uh, dilemma in a zombie apocalypse. It was something never seen before in the Walking Dead universe. You got fragments of it in the Walking Dead with Rick and Lori and Shane, but you never saw its full potential for an actual series. And that's what we got with Fear the Walking Dead. Nick was basically the star. He led everything. He was the first ever character you saw in Fear the Walking Dead season one, where he woke up as a drug addict. He was one of the most complex, interesting characters of any television show I have ever seen. This character has often been called bipolar because every season he's different. He's changed. One season he's a drug addict. Second season he loves walking with the zombies. Third season he wants to be a leader. In the fourth season, he's a bit of a mommy's boy, but also a leader. His character changes in every single season, and it is very interesting 
complex entertainment. Frank Delane is a talented, fantastic actor, and he brought Nick to the series. I think Nick is the, is the really the big standout character that defined Fear the Walking Dead. He made Fear the Walking Dead what it was. If it wasn't for Nick, if it wasn't for Frank Delane, Fear the Walking Dead I don't think would be as popular. He just brings a weird, odd, off-putting performance to the character, and it just works with Fear the Walking Dead's really just disgusting, drab storyline that they're trying to do. Um, Los Angeles is a dark, just dis disturbing place to live during the zombie apocalypse, and I think Nick really brought it to the table. When they killed Nick off, it just ruined everything. Watching Nick in flashbacks just never felt right, in my opinion. It felt repetitive, and it just felt like it didn't do enough for the character. I just didn't really enjoy what they were doing. I didn't feel invested in what they were trying to do telling a story of nick in the past when he's already dead in the future i felt like did not work and it really made a lot of people peeved off especially me i, I feel like yeah just peeved off and the characters after nick died just became so evil and sadistic alicia trying to kill the new group a million times it was okay at once but at one time, but one point in the show, but every single time, it becomes repetitive and boring and stale. You have characters like John. I felt like he was strong. I really enjoyed episode one and two of Fear of the Walking Dead season four. I thought they were great episodes. I thought they were fun, and they really introduced the new characters well. I think after Nick died, the writers were scrambling to do things with these characters because they didn't know Frank Delane would be off the show that fast. Now, I could be completely wrong, but this is how I thought. Uh, this is how I think it happened. And I feel like they were scrambling to find ideas for John and um, Naomi and Althea, etc. And they just didn't have the time. John just becomes this, re this cartoonish character who always gives people candy. And he's always like, Naomi, don't go out there. Naomi, oh, Naomi, we need to find Naomi. Naomi, Naomi, Naomi. Naomi changes her name three times. It's just, it becomes so different after Nick dies. I feel like after Nick dies, the writers realized that they lost the focal point of the series. And I feel like that's when the writers lost their way. They really lost touch with, with the fans who adored Fear the Walking Dead. They lost touch. When Nick died, the writers thought that, that they could introduce newer, more diverse storylines, more unique, fleshed-out storylines, and it just doesn't work without Nick. I feel like Nick needed to be in the show. He's kind of what brought the, the maturity level in Fear of the Walking Dead. I think when he died, the writers really lost touch with, with the show because the show became more of a cartoony, repetitive, dull show that the Walking Dead became in later seasons, and it's just disappointing. So I feel like Fear of the Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 3, is really when Fear of the Walking Dead died. The day Fear of the Walking Dead died, in my personal opinion, is Fear of the Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 3. The writing became stale afterwards, it became repetitive, the storyline just became too convoluted, there were too many things going on, the villains were not fleshed out enough, I feel like they could have done more with Enos, but I just feel like Nick, killing Nick off, ruined the entire series. It just set up a chain reaction that just caused, it really caused these writers to lose their way with Fear of the Walking Dead. When they killed Nick off, I think they just, they lost a lot of the storyline that Nick had, the, the unique capabilities Nick had to carry the show. I feel like they were lost when he died and they just wanted, they scrambled to create new things and they did it too fast and it just doesn't work. And I think this is when Fear the Walking Dead died. Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys not agree with me? I think after season four, episode three, I really started becoming just disinterested in the show. I think after episode three, I was completely did disinterested. The last episode I actually cared about was probably episode six. After that, I just didn't give a crap anymore. Episode seven and eight, I really could care less about. I showed my grandmother episode one, two, and three of Fear of the Walking Dead season four, and then I just quit. 
and it was my mind. My mind was telling me not to show her anymore because my mind was not interested. And if you're not interested in a show, then there's no point of being invested in the characters or watching the show or giving a hoot about the show. So I think Fear the Walking Dead died in Season 4, Episode 3. Um, but everyone has their different opinion. Let me know down below what you guys think. Comment down below, subscribe, do whatever the heck you want to do, and goodbye. Bye, everyone.